Willkommen Freunde! Today I'm gonna revisit the transfer swipe and I thought I will have a swiped background. Let's see how that works out. <laughs> Okay, I start with my board where I put the painting on that I will transfer later. I start with my Glidden Essentials as my pillow. I don't use that much. I want to have minimal of that because everything that is not covered with my paint later is gonna be a waste. So if you transfer things to other surfaces you do not need that much pillow paint because usually like I will do you're gonna have some pillow paint underneath for stretching and by transferring you're stretching your cells already so you don't need that much spinning and not that much pillow paint so I have my sparkly colors that was Fire Dots Caribbean Blue. There's a discount code for those wonderful pigments. You can also get Boom Gel and I think Australian Floatrol at the Pixel Design Shop. And like I said, I have a little coupon code to save you some bucks and to get a few. So my first blue blow on and there's still you see my colors covered the whole white pillow and I have some more space left to do a little bit more so I try that um, splatter blowing It's just beautiful how those colors from below pop up and give that depth because the white from underneath shines through. So this is my canvas. I will add pillow paint. Again, not as much because I will add more paint. I will add the transfer swipe. Um, I'm actually using too much in the end, even though I was trying to be careful. <laughs> That's what happens all the time to me. So yeah, that's my pillow. This is... This is Taffy by This Little Piggy. This is Blue Turquoise by Amsterdam. It's all mixed with my pouring medium, which is Bear Dynasty from Home Depot, the deep base untinted house paint mixed with a little bit of varnish. I'm using the Minwax Polycrylic. And this is Volgan, an interference pigment also by TLP. Sparkles really nice. This is my black. I just used Amsterdam Oxide Black. And I cover up my colors with that black. I put it on the spreader so I have just a thin layer of my paint and also it's fairly evenly spread out. I want to cover most of my canvas, well most of my pillow paint because in the end I want to have more black than white. And all I do is put a little black cell activator on the bottom there. My cell mix is Amsterdam paint and Australian Floatrol. Usually one to one. It works when it's thinner. You have to figure it out yourself what you like best. Mm -hmm. So you can't see really the cell activator anymore, but I use my palette knife to just swipe it out. And here I'm trying to be fairly conscious about how deep I'm going because you have all those layers on the very bottom the pillow paint that I do not want to dig into 
then I have all my paints covered with the black, then the cell activator on top. And um, you have to find that sweet spot where you move a lot of your paint, but just the right layers, if that makes sense. So here I was not very sure where I actually had my paints underneath the black. Um, I just did a very, very light swipe to see if something happens, if something reveals. And I saw the bottom part where I am scooping and dragging right now. Had all my colors. Well, it doesn't really matter for the scoop and drag because I'm scooping up the swipe that has already happened. I can spin this out a little bit because third time I'm saying this, I don't need that much paint underneath because I used a lot. Well, I do use... Let's go back. Let me rephrase this. I need less paint because altogether I put way more on. So. And in this case, too, I ended up with way too much. Let's not talk about this. <laughs> I don't know if I will ever learn this. So this is my first swipe and I just scoop it up. I am really careful trying to basically let the paint do the work. Trying to not force anything. And this is real time. You gotta be a little bit faster in the beginning because there's so much paint on your spatula, on your spreader, that the paint moves faster. And once a bunch of your paint is already on the canvas, not on your spreader anymore, it'll move a little bit slower. So you have to move a little bit slower. And now I just spin it out. So. Also with the same thing with the transfer itself, when once you have too much paint on there, no. I'm judging. I don't want to judge. Once you have a lot of paint underneath, you're gonna be able to spread it out more because there's just more mass, more weight, more stuff underneath that needs to move. And it will move. So. I'm still learning and I find this is the hardest part for me at the moment to figure out how much pillow paint you use. And like I said thousands of times before, sometimes you just don't know. You can just try to adjust and see what happens. Do you see the subtle shimmer of the... What's it called again? The Caribbean blue and the ball gown. I'm loving the movements that transfer swipes do or transfer blooms or transfer whatever you want to call them. Because you have the stretching in hand, the spinning does a circular motion, the tilting is kind of, you know, you can just go that far while the transferring is actually no, I think I'm. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's just this technique is so incredibly difficult in ways of how many variable very vari variables. Okay, let me start all over again. There's so many variables inside this technique that can lead to failure. 
or can lead to certain points and to figure out which component it is that throws you off is sometimes so hard <laughs> um, even if you have a lot of experience there's always something that I cannot grab or yeah I, it's hard for me to explain and I think if you're a beginner um, just let go just let go of things that have to be and um, just relax sometimes it's not you and um, you need to fail sometimes to figure out what's going on so what I learned from this one I love the idea I'm definitely gonna do that again but also I keep forgetting the expansion which is basically the amount of paint you put on your canvas now I'm back to that problem and um, even though I tried to restrain myself putting pillow paint on I definitely used too much I probably used way too much paint for the transfer swipe because it basically covers the whole canvas now well two-thirds I hope you understand what I'm trying to say <laughs> I put a lot of thought into my paintings and I try to experiment a lot and I try to give you a good teaching content if you appreciate that I would totally appreciate back if you subscribe to my channel that way I keep being motivated and I actually see that you guys like what I'm doing so thumbs up always helps it's easy to just click on it I mean right so my little close-up here <laughs> again I love the idea I learned from this piece I hope you do too I will do something similar again hopefully a little bigger um, I hope to see you again very soon until then be good bye bye